Welcome back to Black Acre Ranch guys. Today we're going to be talking about a change we got to make to the feeding of this buffalo herd, our yearlings and everything. So we're going to actually make a change from the feed plan we've been doing it. So we're going to tell you why we're doing it and what that change actually is. So stick with us. <laughs> All right, so if you're wondering why we talk about feed plan, it's because we've done that body condition scoring in the past, we've done some other things. I'm actually standing here in our feed area, and this is where we feed our supplements. And our feed plan consists of, well, feeding hay and feeding supplement, right? And if you're wondering what a feed plan is, it's a plan of feeding feed to the animals. So our primary thing that we do is we feed hay, uh, bales of big round bales, and it has a 10% protein. It should have everything that they need. We supplement with an amount of cake or cubes here in these troughs that's why this whole area is set up and that's to kind of help compensate for different times of the year and to bulk them up and everything else the problem comes is that we're finding that when we had all of our animals we did that body condition scoring it didn't look very good it didn't look as good as we wanted it on some of the animals and that's even with almost a thousand pounds of cubes a week and everything else and so what's happening is it just seems like the animals if they're nursing they're just not looking quite as good so we're halfway through our feed plan and i think we're going to make a change because obviously it's not going to produce the results this summer that we just saw that we want so why bother enduring the next six months so we're gonna make a change now and move on we just decided to give them a bunch of pumpkins it's that time of year guys halloween pumpkin stuff all right, so if you're wondering what we got them, what we got were like a protein tub, a protein supplement. Bartok is licking it. It's really a lick tub, whatever you want to call it. It is a molasses kind of gelled creature of lickiness, I guess is what I would say. And so this stuff is really out there just for the animals to free choice and to go ahead and get. What we got was a Rio Max tub. And Rio Max tubs are not kind of like everybody else's tub. There's various different types you can get. Um, this is a Rio Max. What we did was last weekend, we drove a five hour round trip to go pick up almost like two tons of this stuff. Hey dude. And uh, we picked up like two tons of this stuff, loaded on a trailer, getting it off the trailer, backing it out, putting it down. This is way more tub than we need for one year. It's probably actually like an 18 month supply but we now have these things. Okay, so Rio Max, why we chose Rio Max over the others? The others are strictly protein tubs. The animals are supposed to consume it, they lick it, they chew it, they can be really soft, they chew it more, or it's really, really hard, they have to lick it a lot. Anyway, the idea of the protein tub is it's left out, free choice, animals come by and get it, the sweetness kind of entices them and they get some protein, okay? Regular protein tubs, I've seen 15 to 30%, usually like actually 20, probably 20 to 30% actually protein. The Rio Max tubs are only around about 15%, 15 to 17% protein, okay? So it's not like your typical protein tub. So what these are, these are like more of a digestive, I'm gonna, I'm gonna slaughter this, so all you Remax or Rio Max people are gonna probably call me up on the phone killing me, but. This has a bunch of probiotic, prebiotic, fungi, other things that kind of, when they're consumed, get into the rumen and help digest food, okay? So it's more of like a digestive steroid, if you want to call it that, on a good way, right? It's a, it spikes up the digestive tract, and what it does is really designed to help them get more out of the food you're already feeding them, okay? So it's not just adding other food. So if you're giving hay, uh, they told me, I think it, it gives a boost of like three to 5% on your TDN level. So if your hay is a 48% TDN, you could be 53% net actual realized TDN because all of all that stuff in the room. And anyway, so there's a lot of advantages that they've said about this stuff. And I thought it was worth a shot because I was told that if we're doing this and we're feeding the right kind of protein, there may not be much need to supplement and we may not have to put out a lot of mineral either, if any at all, besides salt. So if I don't have to spend money on salt or mineral, and I could drastically reduce, hopefully, the supplement bill, wow, I'm all game for that. 
And also the consumption rate of this compared to all protein tubs is way less than other protein tubs. So anyway, let's get into those kind of details, but in general, that's what Rio Max is and they come in different tubs. Guys, to get the hang of it. At least one of you. That 110. Well, that's cardboard. There you go. It gives microbial protein, makes up a large portion of their daily protein requirements. And what there it does go. is go, it's adding in all this junk to increase populations of microbes and that when they actually die off, they actually like turn into protein themselves, okay? So they list on this thing, it's like a 15 to 17% protein, five to 7% fat. But it net realizes because it helps, for one, provide extra protein from these microbes, it increases it, but it also helps to utilize all that other stuff. So anyway, this is more of that science behind it. You're gonna go over into a store and you're gonna go look at tractor supply and say, hey, how come this, 200 pound tub or 250 pound protein tub costs 100 bucks, but I go over to Rio Max and it's like four times as much or whatever the pricing, okay? It's more expensive. And you're gonna be like, shoot, crap, I'm not gonna do that. All right, we well, have to realize those protein tubs, I've seen anywhere that the animal will call, like eat five or a half pound to a pound of those regular protein tubs a day. You're consuming so much of that. So if you have a herd of 30 animals like we do, that's 30 pounds a day. Well, that's gonna give you a week and then I go buy another tub. Rio Max, their consumption rate on cattle is anywhere from a quarter pound to a third pound per day. So in essence, you're actually eating maybe half as much. So just on just consumption rate alone, it's the price difference isn't as bad as you might think it is, okay? The better part of it, Hey girlfriend, these buffalo consume less. And they will do, I don't think they've noticed any buffalo consuming more than an eighth of a pound per day. It's usually around 16th to an eighth. So that means this herd of mine, I can actually get by with a 60 pound amount, probably one 60 pound cube in one day, or I mean in one month. Maybe a little over, depends on how fast they eat it. But that's it, great. All right guys, this is what we've got. We've got ourselves, and they come in different different packages. This is a 60 pound block of Rio Max. All right, now this is just their Pro Grass 360. It's grass based. Um, it's hard, ah, it's sticky. I wonder what it tastes like. I really wanna suck on my finger right now. So that's that, right? So that's a 60 pound block. It's in a biodegradable egg carton, I call it, right? They can eat it, it's gonna degrade over time. I'm not left with all this junk plastic bins everywhere. You can buy a 125 pound protein tub and you can buy a 250 pound protein tub, okay? I've got the 60 pound brick, whatever you wanna call it that. These are a lot more manageable 250 pounds sucks to move around. Um, the other thing with buffalo specific, buffalo don't put their heads in protein tubs where it covers their eyes on the side. So they won't usually get to the bottom of a regular protein tub. Another reason why I went with these blocks. So I got a lot of this stuff. I can't tell you how many is on a pallet. I'm trying to look over there right now, but I don't know if it's 18 is on a pallet or if it's 36, I th whatever it is. We've got a lot, we have about a year and a half supply. Why am I doing this right now, guys? Why am I doing this mid-cycle? I didn't wanna do it. Well, one, body condition score, mothers don't look as good as they I want them to. Winter's coming. <laughs> I always have to smile when I say that. Winter is coming, and I don't think this is gonna make that much difference, and I'm just spending more money on this stuff. Two, the guy who does the shipments, he was getting a shipment, I could get free shipping if I just jumped in on it, right? Frankly, that's the money, okay? So anyway, so we did outlay a bunch of cash for this. 
but just on the cost savings portion of it, we should be saving about $700 a month just using this as long as everything else goes the way they say it does. So some of the other things that I liked about this, one is free choice, okay? The animals can come and take it as they go. Two, it's efficient in that it hopefully it'll help them eat better or get more out of the stuff we're already giving. So I'm trying to find ways in which I can minimize the costs. I gotta minimize costs. So these guys look okay right now. We know what they look like. We've done a body condition scoring. They're not really where we want. The current feed plan just wasn't working. So we're gonna be moving. Second thing is, okay, or third, or I don't, whatever I'm at, safety, okay? If I can leave these things out here for the most part, not be coming in here and trying to move bags and all this other stuff, I don't have to be inside the pen with these buffalo. So kids and myself in general, it's safer. They could eat all the time whenever they want and I don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. Another issue was the cost of the troughs, right? These troughs are, geez, I don't know how much. It's been a while since I bought them. 250 bucks, 200 bucks. Anyway, it's a lot, right? Real estate, grass. I don't have to have seven troughs sitting here now. I can have one trough with some mineral if I want and that's it. And I can use these throughout other pastures as I build them. So I can save by not having to get so much infrastructure or feeding expense overhead stuff, right? Minimize expense that way. Um, other thing I was alluding to is real estate. We can open this up, all right? It doesn't have to all be pen. Now I'm gonna keep this one pen, but in the future, the feed area is gonna be different. Like over at the handling facility, I was gonna make that a part-time feed pen. Oh, well, like with this stuff, I don't have to do that now. Okay, I can use that for yearlings. I'm gonna just, uh, what's it called, finish out, things of that nature. So it, it allows me to use other pens, which I didn't have right now without having to make more and more and more pens. So it helps that way. Another thing was minerals. As I said before, it includes the minerals. I save on mineral cost. You are gonna wanna have at least some salt. I have a bunch of Redmond minerals that has a bunch of salt in it. So I'll still use that until I'm gone. And so I still have a purpose for it. But as you guys know, if you've been watching this channel, I have gone through three different ways of feeding minerals and they all suck. Either the animals destroy it twice or I realize I'm not just gonna come out here with a scoop every so often and keep dumping minerals out, right? Rains and it washes them all away. So minerals has been the bane of my existence, man. I hate it. So they get their minerals from this and I just need to leave some salt out as needed for them to take and so forth. So anyway, those are some reasons why we're doing this mid-cycle change. Frankly, this is actually a good time. So why is right now a good time? It's because this gives us an optimal point in which we can measure whether or not there's been actual good stuff going on, okay? So first of all, we can measure the hay consumption pretty well and compare it to it, right? So they said that there should be a decrease in hay consumption. Last winter, we had no grass that was growing. We fed all bales, okay? And then some supplement. This year, there's no grass growing and we're gonna be entering winter. And so it's similar conditions, okay? So what we can do now is start measuring with this stuff out how much hay they're eating per day versus last year. I don't have a good grass crop these both these years. And so we can kind of see a one-to-one -one and see, does it drop? Does it stay the same? I don't know. The second reason is uh, weaning weights. We have done, we've only got two calves. They're gonna go through the chute in about four weeks, ish. And, um, so we can tell their weaning weight. We're gonna compare this weaning weight to the last year weaning weight. And that's what I wanted to do. And one month for the yearling to be on this isn't gonna make, they're not gonna gain 40 pounds from this. Okay guys, so it's not like it's gonna make a difference, but um, we'll check their weaning weights. And then since the mothers are now hopefully just got pregnant, we can see a full effect of a year of pregnancy on the mom and then birth of the calves. And then the calves with this stuff around as well for their weaning weight. So it, it's not like we're mid cycling conception to birthing to weaning, okay? We get a full 100% cycle on that. So we're gonna compare all three years, this one to last year, but then next year, we're able to then check them with 100% on Rio Max and see what they do, all right? Now, we're gonna still supplement some and so forth and no big deal, but we can be more specific about what we supplement, when we supplement it and the timing, right? So that kind of stuff. So it's not like we're going off cube 100%, guys. We're just, primarily it's from this. We'll still at least give the yearlings some things. And, um, but otherwise, yeah, we're gonna see how that goes. The last one was just body condition. We kind of have an idea of what the body condition looks like of the animals now. 
We're gonna see what it kind of rates out at next year. It gives us one year cycle from the initial body condition, which was a previous episode like three weeks ago or something if you wanna go look at it. You have a good sexy rear shot of Achmed in the picture. Anyway, so that little beastie. So that's what we're doing guys. We're going to Rio Max. We're swapping our feed plan a little bit. We're trying something new all with the hope of saving some cash, okay? It's a lot of money outlay, I get it. But if it decreases the supplements, like it says, that in itself would save us seven to eight hundred dollars a month. Which you know, you do that times twelve, four to five thousand dollars a year off that. That's four to five grand. Uncle Sam don't get it. And before I go, guys, I do want to tell you I am not sponsored by Rio Max. I'm not paid by Rio Max. I didn't even they didn't seek me out. This this is one hundred percent research in cubes, tubs, anything I could find is a better supplements and this popped out and I decided to give them a shot and try it. I don't get any big discount, I mean, nothing, okay? I wrote that fat check, handed it over to them, and cried my way home. That's pretty much what happened. So this is a 100% honest opinion, and if you guys have been following the channel, you know I give pretty frank opinion, right? If I don't like something, I'm pretty blunt about it. If I like it, I'll tell you I like it. But uh, yeah, just know I'm not like a paid dude and they're not giving me anything for this crap. So we're gonna monitor this, we'll keep you on tabs with it as we go through but we're gonna cut back those cubes and rely on this stuff and kind of see how it goes um, maybe a block block and a half maybe for the adults the yearlings there's less yearlings but they may be consuming a bunch they're trying to keep on some weight so we may still feed them the regular cube schedule but anyway thanks for joining us guys I'm gonna leave it here this is the change in the ranch if you're interested in it go check them out riomax.com net i believe is what they are you can find them look at them eight out of ten ranchers say it works so obviously there's two that don't maybe i'm one of them i don't know i'll tell you in about a year all right see you later bye